Have you ever wondered how you might respond if everything you owned was suddenly taken away from you? Imagine being a wealthy merchant, the world at your fingertips, only to find yourself shipwrecked and penniless in a foreign land. This was the predicament of Zeno of Cyprus, around 300 BCE. His prosperous life was upended, his wealth swallowed by the unforgiving sea. Yet, in the heart of Athens, Zeno discovered a new treasure, not of gold or gems, but of wisdom. In a bookstore, Zeno was captivated by the teachings of Socrates, the renowned philosopher. This chance encounter ignited a flame within him, propelling him on a journey of philosophical inquiry under the tutelage of Athens' esteemed thinkers. Stoicism is more than just a response to adversity. It's a comprehensive philosophy of life. At the heart of Stoicism lie four cardinal virtues, practical wisdom, temperance, justice, and courage. These virtues function as guiding lights, helping individuals navigate the complexities of life while contributing positively to society. Practical wisdom, or phronesis, is the ability to discern what is truly good or evil beyond the superficialities of life. It's about understanding the world in a clear, unclouded manner and making sound decisions based on this understanding. It's the kind of wisdom that allows one to differentiate between what is within our control and what isn't, and to act accordingly. Next, we have temperance, or sophrosyne. This virtue emphasizes the importance of self-restraint and moderation. It's not about denying oneself pleasures, but rather about enjoying them in a balanced, healthy way. It's the ability to say no to excess and yes to balance. Then comes justice or dikiosine. Stoicism places a high value on social responsibility and ethical conduct. Justice in this context is about treating others with fairness, respect and kindness, regardless of their status or circumstances. It's about recognizing and honoring the inherent dignity of all people. Finally, we have courage, or Andrea. But this isn't the brash, reckless courage often depicted in Hollywood blockbusters. Stoic courage is about facing life's challenges with resilience and determination. It's about standing up for what's right, even when it's difficult or unpopular. These four virtues aren't independent entities, but rather interconnected facets of a well-rounded life. They promote a way of living that's grounded in reality, mindful of others, and resilient in the face of adversity. And while Stoicism encourages us to be composed in the face of hardship, it doesn't ask us to suppress our emotions. Instead, it teaches us to understand and harness them for the greater good. It's about experiencing our feelings fully, but not letting them dictate our actions. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions, it's about harnessing them for the greater good. Stoicism is not just a philosophy confined to textbooks. It has been put into action by some of the greatest leaders in history. Let's travel back to ancient Rome, to the time of Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher. Seneca was not just a thinker, but also a man of action. He used his position as an advisor to the emperor to advocate for the humane treatment of slaves, emphasizing that Stoicism taught us our shared humanity. He believed that Stoic virtue was not just about personal resilience, but also about making the world a better place. Fast forward to the reign of Marcus Aurelius, often referred to as the philosopher king. Aurelius was a Roman emperor who used Stoicism as a personal operating system during his rule. He maintained a sense of calm and composure, even in the face of a devastating plague and invasions from Germanic tribes. His personal writings, known as the Meditations, are a testament to his commitment to Stoic principles. They reveal how Stoicism guided his actions, helped him cope with the stresses of leadership, and cultivated his sense of duty towards his people. Stoicism's influence stretches far beyond ancient times. Let's leap forward a couple of millennia to the 20th century, to the life of Nelson Mandela. Mandela, during his long years in prison, found solace and strength in the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. He drew upon the stoic idea of enduring hardship with grace and dignity, transforming his personal struggle into a fight for justice. These examples illustrate how stoicism isn't just a theoretical construct. It's a practical philosophy that has been used by leaders throughout history to navigate periods of crisis and change. 
It has helped them to maintain their composure, make wise decisions, and uphold their responsibilities to those they lead. Stoicism has been a guiding light for many, offering strength in the face of adversity. It's a philosophy that doesn't just teach us how to think, but also how to act. The teachings of Stoicism didn't end with the ancient world. Its influence permeates throughout history. This philosophy, with its emphasis on virtue, tranquility and self-mastery, has left an indelible mark on various schools of thought across the globe. Christian theologians, for instance, found resonance in Stoicism's moral teachings. The early Christian concept of Logos shares similarities with the Stoic understanding of the term. Both perceive it as the divine reason or principle governing the universe. The Stoic idea of living in harmony with nature parallels the Christian call to live in harmony with God's will. Moreover, the Stoic emphasis on inner peace and tranquility reverberates in Christian monastic traditions. Their shared advocacy for virtues like temperance, justice and courage underscores the alignment between these two philosophical realms. Similarly, Buddhist thinkers found parallels in Stoicism. The Four Noble Truths of Buddhism bear resemblance to Stoic tenets. Both philosophies recognize that suffering is a part of life and advocate for a change in perception to alleviate it. The Stoic emphasis on accepting things beyond our control mirrors the Buddhist practice of detachment. Furthermore, Stoicism's focus on the present moment aligns with the Buddhist practice of mindfulness. Both philosophies urge us to live in the here and now, free from the anxieties of the past and the future. Stoicism also found its way into the works of prominent philosophers like Immanuel Kant, who incorporated its principles of virtue and duty into his moral philosophy. And it's not just in the realm of philosophy. Stoicism has inspired writers and artists, military leaders and business moguls. Its teachings have been adopted by cognitive behavioral therapists and self-help gurus. Stoicism's enduring influence underscores its universal appeal and timeless wisdom. It continues to inspire millions, offering a path to tranquility and resilience in an ever-changing world. Its principles, though conceived thousands of years ago, remain relevant, providing a compass for navigating the complexities of modern life. Stoicism's wisdom is not confined to the ancient world. It continues to inform modern psychology. Epictetus, a notable Stoic philosopher, struck a chord that resonates with today's therapists and counsellors. He observed that our suffering stems not from events themselves, but from how we interpret them. This perspective is a cornerstone in contemporary psychological therapies, particularly cognitive-based ones. Take, for instance, Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy, or a REBT. Developed by Albert Ellis in the mid-20th century, REBT proposes that our thoughts shape our emotions and behaviours. If we cling to irrational beliefs, we may find ourselves trapped in harmful emotional responses. ReBT encourages us to challenge these beliefs, to question their validity, echoing the stoic call for self-reflection and mastery. Then there's Viktor Frankl's logotherapy, which pivots around the quest for meaning. Frankl, a Holocaust survivor, believed that we can endure any suffering if we can find meaning in it. This echoes the stoic tenet that we can turn any adversity into an opportunity for growth, for strengthening our virtues. It's about shifting our perspective, reframing hardship as a teacher rather than a tormentor. Both ReBT and Logotherapy draw from Stoic wisdom, advocating for a shift in perspective to alleviate suffering. They affirm the Stoic belief that we possess the power to shape our emotional responses, to navigate life's tumultuous seas with grace and resilience. Stoicism's influence does not end here, though. Its principles continue to inspire new therapeutic approaches and self-help strategies. It's a testament to the enduring relevance of Stoic wisdom, its capacity to guide us across time and culture. From the ancient Stoapoikili to the modern therapist's office, Stoicism's insights remain a beacon, illuminating the path to resilience, to self-mastery, to virtue. It's a philosophy that transcends the ages, its wisdom as relevant today as it was in Zeno's time. From ancient Athens to modern psychology, Stoicism continues to offer us insights on resilience, meaning, and the art of living. From a shipwrecked merchant to a revered philosopher, Zeno's journey embodies the essence of Stoicism. 
This philosophy born from adversity encourages us to master our responses to the world around us, grounding our actions in virtue and wisdom. Stoicism's four cardinal virtues, practical wisdom, temperance, justice and courage, provide a guiding light through life's complexities. Historically, Stoicism has influenced great leaders from Marcus Aurelius to Nelson Mandela, inspiring resilience in the face of adversity. Its teachings have seeped into various religious and philosophical schools, echoing the universal desire for tranquility and virtue. In the realm of modern psychology, Stoicism's principles underpin therapeutic approaches like rational emotive behavioral therapy and logotherapy, emphasizing that our interpretations of events determine our emotional responses. In essence, Stoicism offers us a life raft in the turbulent sea of existence, a compass guiding us towards resilience and meaning. Like Zeno, we too can navigate life's storms with the compass of Stoicism, finding resilience and meaning amidst the chaos.